AMS is pleased to offer the AS-72-6X family of integrated six-channel spectroradiometer sensors. The AS-72-6X devices can be used to measure, characterize, and calibrate spectral light and color sources for all kinds of applications. And AMS has several variants of the AS-72-6X. Each variant is tailored to analyze different bands of the light spectrum. Bands such as XYZ in the CIE color space, visible light, UV, or near-infrared. All of the AS-72-6X sensors use proprietary nano-optic interference filters and have excellent accuracy. There are many applications where you may want to verify the accuracy of an object's color. Verifying color requires spectral ID analysis. For example, spectral ID can be used to authenticate consumables to make sure they are not counterfeit. Spectral analysis can be used to assess fluid properties or monitor water quality. Spectral ID is useful in analyzing food and beverages for safety, or even for checking fruit for ripeness. Here's the block diagram of the AS-726X device. There are six independent multispectral sensor channels, each with a unique spectral interference filter. The filters are very accurate and are designed to remain stable over time. The AS-726X has an indicator LED driver and another LED driver that can be used as part of an electronic shutter control. This LED driver will drive up to 100 milliamps of current and it operates sort of like the flash on a camera. It drives a reference LED light source that gets triggered at the precise moment when you want to execute a color analysis. The AS-726X supports I2C slave mode, so it can be connected and controlled by a microcontroller. Alternatively, the device can be controlled using high-level AT commands across an onboard UART port. The AS-726X devices come in a 20-pin LGA package. This package includes a housing with an aperture that targets the entering light onto the sensor surface. Let's examine the AS-726X evaluation kit. The kit includes a USB cable and a thumb drive that contains all the documentation and software drivers. The kit also contains the Intelligent Spectral Identification or iSpy module board. The AS-726X sensor integrated circuit in the LGA package is mounted right on the iSpy module circuit board. The iSpy module attaches to the HRB interface board. The HRB provides protocol translation from I2C signaling to USB UART signaling. A slider switch on the iSpy allows you to select either I2C or UART as the interface protocol. There are a few steps to get the iSpy eval board software up and running. A good place to start is by looking at the one-page README PDF file that comes on the thumb drive. That provides a nice overview of the installation. Another important document on the thumb drive is the Dashboard Installation and Operation Guide. On page 3, it walks through step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how to install the Dashboard software. To run the dashboard GUI, click on the TBC file that you put in a working directory that you created for yourself when you installed the software. Once you click that TBC file, you will be presented with the COM ports that are available for your iSpy board. Choose a COM port and then click to open it. Now the dashboard will open up. There are four tabs on the iSpy dashboard. From left to right, the tabs are Sensor tab, Logging and Control, Console, and Update. Starting at the far right is the Update tab. This is to update the firmware on your iSpy board. To do this, you would need to get a new .bin file from AMS. Just follow the directions in the Installation and Operations Guide. Moving left, the next tab is called Console. Here we can monitor and enter AT commands that are sent to control the iSpy module. The AT commands are high-level instructions, similar to the method used to control Hayes compatible modems a few years back. Here I will type in AT LED0 equals 100, and you can see 
that the status LED on the iSpy module lights up. I can turn it off with AT LED 0 equals 0. To output the six spectral channels of data, I can type AT data. And here are the latest readings from all six channels of the sensor. It is even possible to record and playback AT commands almost like a script. Just use the command mode on the right side of the screen. Next, let's explore the logging and control tab of the AS7263. The AS7263 senses six different wavelengths of the near IR spectrum. Under sensor controls, I can change the integration time. The default integration time is 400 milliseconds. That is the period of how long it takes the sensor to make a spectral reading. I can also change the gain setting from 1x all the way up to 64x. Bumping up the gain makes the sensor more sensitive in low light conditions. We can also save the sensor readings to a data log file by clicking here. Just choose a name for your log file and it will be created in your working directory. The NIR sensor tab is at the far left. If I click once on sample, then the sensor takes a snapshot and records the raw values for the different wavelengths. If I check the continuous checkbox and then hit the start button, the sensor now makes continuous readings. These readings are being stored in the log file I created in my working directory. Watch how the various spectral readings change if I add a brighter white light, then a red light, and finally a green light source. Now I am going to show what the AS7261 iSpy dashboard looks like. The AS7261 reads XYZ tri-stimulus values as well as infrared and clear. It is able to take raw readings and calculate other useful color values. The spectral sensor tab for the AS7261 is on the far left and that's where I can make spectral readings for XYZ and IR. I can capture a one-time sample or again put the sensor in continuous mode. Observe that the spectral readings for each of the six optical channels change when I apply the white light, then the red light, and finally the green light. Well, this has been a quick introduction to the AS726X family of spectral sensors. I hope you liked the very cool iSpy module and the dashboard tool. For more information, please contact AMS. Thanks.